Taylor. Yes, sir. You told me you've seen two movies the last two weeks that not non podcast related, but I wanted non-podcast to non podcast related, yes. Wanted to make it podcast related. Here so. we go. <laughs> Uh, first, you said you finally saw Clue for the first time, and I, I thought you had I seen s- it forever ago. Uh, uh, you brought it up because we talked about doing board game themed movies. Yeah, uh, mm-hmm. but I I had never seen it, like Battleship and Queegee. Que- Ouija? Queegee? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Queegee. <laughs> well, it's a dumb name. It do- it does start with Q. It's it's no, it doesn't. Yes, it, it does. With oh. It starts with a Q. It's, like, it's Q-U-I. No, it's O-I something. No, it's uh, Q-U. And yeah, we got another Carousel situation. Oh, it is O. Yeah. Okay. Does it look like no a Q? Idea. Does it look like a Q uh, in the it, like the typeset? Only if I close my eyes and really try to imagine <laughs> a Q. Hang on. Let me see a picture of this. I hate... I hate... Huh. It's the Mandela effect. That's the problem. It used to be Q, but they just changed it. I feel like you're the only person who's on that <laughs> side of the argument, though. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, yeah. But still, OU for <laughs> we? No, it's still stupid. It's just not like queegee. <laughs> but it's not like that's the most if ridiculous anything, part. Like, oh, oh, Y-G. Oh. Well, I guess it makes sense if you think of like the French word for yes being we, oui, mm. even though it's like oh I. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> Friggin' French. <laughs> um uh, clue. Anyways. So I, I did a yeah. podcast with Movie Pass Pod uh a few months oh, ago okay. now. It's been a while. We talked about Clue. Well, oh what, really? I, I must have missed that one. Yeah, thanks for keeping up with the podcast. I am not a fan of this podcast. <laughs> um, what'd you think of it? Uh, I surprisingly really enjoyed it. it. Yeah, I didn't know what to expect other than I had heard it was not good, but also one of those cult classic type movies. Who said it wasn't good? But it doesn't have good reviews. Really? I don't believe so. I think but it, it does. It seems oh. like Tim Curry has a, a knack of making all of his movies cult classics. Yeah, I mean, he makes good movies. So I didn't know what to expect. Mm-hmm. Um, I figured it would be like a real dry sense of humor, which I'm all about. And it was just funny all around. Yeah. It's very uh, physical. The, oh, yeah, for the, sure. I, I the, brought uh, it up with... Slapstick. You know, uh, it's, I wouldn't call it slapstick, but it's... There's a... Uh, the jokes are not just like a reference to something else. I, I brought it up when I did the podcast with Movie Pass Pod. But uh, there's one scene that I, I think is just so funny. I, I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but uh, Mr. Green is trying to sit down in a chair and mm-hmm. people just keep taking his chair and he just keeps moving, yeah. moving, 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 moving. Like, <laughs> just, just like that. Cause you, you've like, I think everyone has had that moment where you like, you go to do something and someone else takes it unknowingly. And then you're yeah. like, you're like half a step behind everyone at that point. So you're like, Oh no. And, th- and so you try to change and someone else takes the next thing. And then you just keep moving, moving, moving. And then he sits yeah. down on the, the, like a coffee table or like a end table and it just collapses. Yeah. And it's just this, <laughs> this, there's no one really talking. Nothing is happening. It's just focused on him trying to sit down and the joke <laughs> just lets it play out. And it's just so good where, you know, a lot of comedies now are like, I think I I think I had just watched Game Over Man like that same week and I was comparing yeah. the two and it's just like how hard they were trying to be funny versus how subtle Clue yeah and like oh, how super much subtle. how much funnier Clue is you know versus Game Over Man it's just it's great Yeah I agree um there's just like a a good handful of one-liners and mm-hmm. Just little little things. I thought Tim Curry was fantastic. Yes. Um, what's the dude's name? Okay, so do you watch? Do you watch Better Call Saul? Or have you? Hmm. So the, I didn't realize that his brother is also in that movie. Tim Curry's brother. 
No, no, no. The brother from Better Call Saul, uh, Michael McKeon. Mm. Yeah, he's Mr. Green. Yeah. Yeah. He was he was extremely funny. Yeah. Um I didn't I didn't really know who he was before Better Call Saul, so I I, I don't know what he I only know him from that. Yeah. He's not like a likable character. Mm. Uh but yeah, it was it was just it was it was good all around. Yeah. Um G what did you think uh, of the end? So from what I understand mm. is there's three different endings. Yes. Um, and th- they were distributed randomly throughout mm. the country in theaters. Yes. I don't know if there's a true ending. I just know that the one that I saw had all the endings. Yeah. That's how they, uh, when it came out on VHS, it came out with all the endings, but they had an A, B and C. And then the theaters after a while, the theater started posting, Oh, we have, B ending we have c ending we have a and like yeah people would like travel around to see the alternate endings which i think wow. is super cool but like probably a big part of why it didn't do super well like financially because yeah. that seems like a big extra step to doing it all do you know what i mean like right. a big oh, commitment yeah. and for it not to pay out pay off seems like a, a big reason why they don't do stuff like that anymore because i think it's yeah, I think it's it's pretty interesting an idea. Although I think so. it would get stale really fast. Um, oh, it would be overdone, and it would it would get. Ugh, yeah, no, for sure it would. I'm glad it's not like a thing. Yeah, but, I, it, it's something that I wish I could have enjoyed at the time. Yeah, would have been it would have been cool. Yeah, um, because the I, only the way I see it, or okay, before I don't know how long maybe it took people to catch on catch on because there's no way that i don't believe that they would have announced that ahead of time right no and so there, there wasn't the, the internet top movie of, you know yeah like, exactly it's the top movie of the week and you and you go see it and other people from work go see it this and that and you're talking about it uh you know and then everyone gets to the ending and it's maybe slightly different you know based on theaters or whatever yeah um i don't know i i just think the that confusion and like you would have to feel dumb at some point like okay how is this possible like i i i thought this is what i saw <laughs> it's but the mandela maybe not. exactly yeah <laughs> i thought it was queegy but apparently there's three <laughs> different ways to say it oh man i don't know how that happened my whole life i thought it was queegy i think i've said that before <laughs> like i why well, my whole i knew it was Ouija, but i thought it was spelt with a q I think that's just one of those things my brain accepted and it never could, no matter how many times I would see it, my brain just yeah. is like, that's a cue. It, like, <laughs> I don't know. It's just, I mean, it's the same as Karis will. Is that what I would call yeah. it? Yeah. Karis will. Cause I, even right now I said it and I was like, wait, is that the correct word? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, wait, I said the wrong, I said the right thing. Oh man. I'm dumb. I'm a dummy. Um, but the the only thing I didn't like about mm-hmm. Clue is because it had three different endings, none of the stuff that happened in the movie actually points to who the killer is. Yeah. There's no way you could watch it and be like, and figure it out, you know? And so like- Oh, yeah, there's no way. It's fun and it's funny, but it's so ambiguous uh, that it kind of, the mystery- it's not a mystery, right? It's just a, it's just straight up comedy, which is fine, but it's also like pretending it's a mystery. So it's like, I don't know. It leads you to believe that you could figure it out yeah. when in reality you can't. There's no way because they had to leave it open to where they could have been any of the other three endings. Exactly. Um, but yeah, no, I think Clue is great. I think it's it's fantastic. I think it's one of the funnier movies that that holds up because it's not – it the comedy is in in the movie everything it's not like making jokes i mean there's a few like reference jokes um yeah maybe a couple but it's pretty self-contained yeah so like it holds up forever essentially you know i'm sure sure at some point it won't be funny anymore but like i don't know maybe i don't know one one of my favorite lines was and I, i don't remember who was who at this point but they were talking to the one of the women whose husband had disappeared. Mm. 
And uh, they're like, well, what about your husband? He disappeared. It's like, well, yeah, he was an illusionist. That's what he did. <laughs> like, but he never reappeared. So I never said he was a good illusionist. <laughs> yeah, she's the, the Black yeah. Widow, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's the, the scene where the, the cop shows up, right? Mm-hmm. And they're trying to keep him out of the room where they have the dead bodies. And he ends up going in there, but they, they stage it to make it look like they're doing like an orgy scene. Yeah. And Well, they're just <laughs> making thought, out. Like, well, we should, yeah, yeah, yeah. not everyone has seen this movie, Taylor. <laughs> so calling it an orgy <laughs> well, scene. They will now. <laughs> That's a... <laughs> well, uh, you just... Making vision- out scene. Yeah, they're, they're like making out with dead people. They're not. The, they didn't make which, it look like they're having an orgy with dead people. No, There's a, fine. <laughs> a distinct difference. In itself, was funny because they had like the one where they were standing up and they had the lady like holding up, holding her up and using her arms. Yeah. Uh, it was just. But then once the cop comes out and Tim Curry goes to to speak to him, thinking he's seen the bodies. Yeah. He's like, he's like, look, I whatever was in there, I can explain. He's yeah. like, hey, don't yeah, worry, you don't need to explain. It's okay. He's like. <laughs> Really? It is? He's like, yeah. He's like, this is a he's like, this is a free country, don't you know? He's like, I didn't know it was that free. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Christopher Lloyd is also in this movie. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he was good too. Um I'm trying to think. There's all like Yeah, no, it's fantastic. I really enjoy yeah, it. It really is. I I I'm I i do not know. I'm surprised it took me so long to finally see it. Yeah, it me great. too. I like I I could have sworn you had seen it before, but no, um, but the other movie that you saw this week, I think this week. I saw Solo, yeah, the Star Wars movie. What'd you think? Or, uh, okay, so it was better than I anticipated. Okay, I had I had no, I had no hope for it going into it. Yeah. That's why it took me so long to see it, and it wasn't it wasn't too bad. It's so um, bad. I don't think so. It's really bad. It wasn't great, but it wasn't. It, it may it maybe it is bad and my expectations were so low that in comparison it's not that bad <laughs> yeah because like potential. it was almost i was almost dreading it yeah i i knew i couldn't put it off forever but i didn't yeah i, mean, I didn't hate it i guess if you go in thinking that you're gonna hate every second of it then yeah it's it's better than that right and it's not <clears throat> like woody harrelson i he's mm-hmm. he's really good in it like i think he's enjoyable in most things um but just the the idea that it was even made you know like everything that they did with han solo as a character and like all the backstory they were trying to reveal is so Mm -hmm. pointless like who cares about anything that they said in that movie oh no i agree completely with that because we all know what he turns into so yeah who cares yeah the um, there's a, a YouTube channel called Red Letter Media, and mm-hmm. they they review movies and stuff. And one of the things was, oh, where did Han Solo get his shoes from? And one of the guys is just like the space store. Who cares? <laughs> what is the point? <laughs> like what what why do we need to know where every single thing comes from? And that's what they do oh, through geez. the whole movie is where he got his gun, where he got his belt, how he met uh, Chewie, why he calls Chewie Chewie. Like I thought that was so stupid. It, the that worst was so dumb. The worst was his reason how he got his name. Because I'm not gonna oh yeah, that was dumb too. Yeah. That was the like that was so insulting from the beginning. Me and me and Chris were watching and we're like, he could have just also as easily been like called Han Loser. Han single. If if we're going just based on him uh, being by himself. Han Loner. I, I yeah. It I don't even know. It's it's so dumb and like no that was that was dumb the chewy thing was dumb like it so don't act like chewbacca it's even remotely hard to say well yeah or like or why you would have to say like oh i'm gonna give you a nickname because your name's hard to say like just just give him a nickname like just call him that yeah i don't know don't like announce it okay from here on out you are this person and oh that's that's so stupid uh the social justice warrior robot what do you think of that uh oh uh yeah yeah it just was like a non it was pointless yeah it it just seems so unnecessary the uh like 
all the backlash it got, I think was kind of unfair. Like I know Kathleen Kennedy is getting a lot of hate from people cause they're. Well, what are their, what are their complaints? Uh, that it's like their, um, I can't even think of the word basically that they're trying to make women strong characters. And that's why people are upset. Like it's this weird, like the defense. Okay. So it's so stupid, man. I don't even know The people, <laughs> people are upset that there is complaints about the movie. So they're saying, Oh, you hate it because it's not just about cis white gendered men. You're right. So that's dumb. Then people yep. are upset about that response about, they're like, how dare you say that you guys are a bunch of social justice warriors, which is dumb. And they just are bickering back and forth about, I don't even know. Like you, it's like, I can't even articulate what I'm trying to say. Cause it's so frustrating. Like the movie yeah. is just not very good. Like who cares who the main character is? Who cares what's happening? Like, cause people are upset that Ray, um uh Jin um the purple haired lady from the latest Star Wars movie like all this stuff they're like oh you're you're trying to it's like propaganda you're trying to agendadize agendadize that's not a word agendadize <laughs> that no that sounds right uh you're trying to like make Star Wars something that's not when i don't know right. i'm i'm like speaking in circles and i can't I can't clearly articulate because I, I don't hold any of these opinions is kind of the thing. Yeah. You know, so it's like people are upset on both sides about this social movement that they're trying to force into Star Wars. And it's, if anything, if they are doing that, they're just, they're ruining the movies because they're not telling a good story anymore. Like yeah. it's the same with anything. Anytime you use art as a propaganda, it's not entertaining. Yeah, like if you can't, you can, you can tell a story and try to make a point, but you can't tell the viewers what to take away from it. You know what I'm saying? Like, if that's what you're trying to do, then you you've already lost. But yeah, you need to just tell a good enough story so their takeaway is what you intended. Yeah, exactly. You can't. You don't get to tell the audience what they need to take away from it. Like you can have, you can have inspiration. And be like, oh, I want to tell a story of a strong female character and who overcomes things. But if people see it and they take away, oh, whatever, you know, McDonald's is bad, then that's what they take away from it. It's like you you just didn't express it well enough. You don't get to be like, no, you're wrong. That's not what this is about. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I don't know, it's stupid. It, 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 yeah, no, it is. And that's the, that's what I think that's why I'm struggling with it. And maybe I, I don't know. I don't really. I just think the movies are bad. Like the film, I, so I, the film. I know is this bad. is going to be controversial with you, of course. Mm. Uh, I definitely liked it more than Rogue One. Rogue One is better. Oh, Rogue One is not good at all. Rogue One, except for like the last ten minutes. Oh, the last ten minutes are great. Yeah, and that's it, though. The uh, Rogue One is slow. I'll, I'll give you that, but it's the. It, in my opinion, it's the best. Star Wars it's, it's because so it's the least Star Warsy. But yeah, I I, I, just, I thought the guy who played Han did pretty well. Like yeah, he he was as, fine, like, but like he had as Han. nothing to do. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like even the um, Donald Glover was in it, and mm -hmm. it, it, like I was just like, why? What? He's just doing an impression of. Oh, sorry, dropping mic. Did you just fall? <laughs> I dropped the mic. <coughs> mic drop. Uh. Can you hear me? Yes. Like uh, Donald Glover didn't really do like he did an impressive impression, mm -hmm. but he didn't do anything like that was great. You know, and I don't know. Is the I I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. It's frustrating to me because 
what okay what did you learn new about in this movie what's the new information you got for mm. star wars uh darth maul is still alive yeah and that that was even something that was in the the cartoons i guess yeah no it's 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 been well documented throughout like, the books and whatnot uh i thought it was interesting that that they went with it mm. i i didn't expect it I don't know. I don't know. I don't know exactly how the timeline works. I'm sure it's fine, but also, where where does he go after this? Because we never hear any more mention of Darth Maul, like in the original trilogy or in the sequel yeah. or anything else. Well, I imagine they're setting up the Kenobi movie where Obi Wan is they finally. Already, they're not doing a Kenobi movie, but they were. I think. Yeah. Like, originally, they were gonna. At least at the time, yeah. which I was looking forward to that more than anything. Mm-hmm. That I feel like would be entertaining. Uh, I, it has potential. I just think it would have been more well, the yes, same, potential. you know. Like, yeah, but Obi Wan Kenobi is a better character than Han Solo. Han Solo is a great character. He's okay. The problem I don't find him that great. I think he's overrated. The problem is he had nowhere to go. Right? Yeah, he, we knew everything we needed to know. Yeah, there, we didn't need any backstory on him. We didn't. What it should have been was him learning how to fly at most. You know what I mean? Like, he should have been in the army. Like, he doesn't have a, a moral arc. Yeah. Uh, like, what is what does he change? What what changes about him? He starts off, you as know, a criminal. As a He's criminal, always a criminal. And ends up as All a criminal. All the to the end. The only thing that changes is he learns to shoot first which is such a small yeah. part of him as a character. Like it's one moment that became a big deal because George Lucas added another shot, right? Originally in the original movie, Han Solo shot Greedo. Right. Then he added, he's like, oh, I don't want my hero to be which so ruthless. So, so they added Greedo shooting first. And it's just like, that's it. That's why that that's his whole story is, he learned to shoot first but then canonically it's not actually like but then he doesn't like if you yeah it, you know what i'm saying like it just what doesn't end up actually shooting first anyways yeah yeah it's dumb i he, he learned to not trust people that's it yeah which i don't know if you're if you're a smuggler and a bad guy you should know that already yeah there's just that's the issue with prequels is it 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 shoe shoe boxes that's not a word it like boxes you into into you don't have any room to go right like one yeah. you you know han solo is going to survive you know chewbacca is going to survive so that yeah. those stakes are just gone instantly and it's like oh, okay yeah hanging out like hanging off the train like oh i wonder what happens now yeah nothing and then they're gonna tell they're gonna show a couple things that you would find important later but why you found them important before is because you didn't know what they were. And so yeah. telling the story takes away the importance. And so it's just like, there's no more mystique to the character. And so it's just, why are you doing any of this? What's the purpose? What, what's the moral? What's the story? What's the, and it's just to make money. Another thing, another, do you think that they intended more Han Solo movies to come? I don't think so. Maybe. So another thing that bothered me, and it's probably not even that big of a deal, but it's because we're also watching these stupid Fast and Furious movies. <laughs> there was a scene, or there was a couple times towards the end when he mentioned, oh, man, we should go Tatooine. to Tatooine. I hear they're doing some crazy stuff in Tokyo drifting. <laughs> that's what it felt like. I'm like no, yeah, that's exactly just, what it felt like. Just do it. Stop talking about it and just go or say it once. Oh, I, 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 as soon as he said, I heard it, and I was like, "That's he's talking about Tokyo Drift." Yeah, no, I, Solo's gonna go learn to drift and tattooing with <laughs> freaking job of the hood. Yeah, no, I, um, I didn't like anything really about Solo. I thought, like in the beginning, you can't see anything in that that yeah. the first planet. It's so dark and so shadowy; you can't even tell what's happening half the time. And it gets better towards the I, end. But it's I liked still, the. The train robbery scene, I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah. I liked, I I just liked how the actual train like turned corners. Uh 
and it was like you know kind of tilted on its side yeah yeah i thought that was cool i mean it's not like a huge thing it's also weird to see but like imagine if they use star wars anyways yeah why would they right they just have because everything because it was yeah because i'm watching and i'm like there's nothing there's no there's no cars right there's nothing that transports you on the ground like physically touching the Mm -hmm. ground and then they do that train i'm like well there's that but why not just make that also hover well it's because everything has to be of western they're like they wanted to do a western style heist yeah which like i said i i thought it was fine um other than the the moments where oh here comes maybe han or chewbacca is gonna die that obviously was pointless yeah um who was the guy who was their pilot i remember he was a person oh john favreau favreau that's right yeah it was weird that was was strange it was weird to figure that out later his voice didn't fit like his body no he's Um, like a little monkey man right yeah yeah i i don't Uh, know anyways I, i think star wars is like again Like I was saying before, people are complaining that it's becoming like a social justice thing, social justice thing. And that's what's ruining it. And I don't, I can see some of that. I can see the, the agenda behind a lot of things they're doing. And that's definitely a problem for sure. Um, but I I don't think it's as sinister as people are like freaking out about, you know what I mean? Like I like for me, I don't care if your main character is a, a female, but just make it a good character. You know, like if you want to show a strong character, because Leia in the original tri- trilogy is a really good, strong female character. Right. Ray yeah. is not. Yeah, they kind of floundered that one. Yeah, she's Faltered. like, like you see Luke. His whole progression is learning how to use the force, learning how to become better, training and all this stuff. Ray instantly is just great at everything she does. And that's not compelling. No one like you want to make a point of like a strong character. You got to go through the struggle too. you got to show the weakness first and how they overcome it. Otherwise, it's just like, what's the what's the point here? Like it just it's just wasting time. I don't know. I I I don't. What did you think of uh, Daenerys? Who Daenerys? Yeah, it's a girlfriend. Uh, Game of Thrones. Uh, what's her name? Amelia Clark. Amelia Clark. Um, she. I'm trying to remember. It's been a while since I've seen Solo too, which is another reason why I'm having a hard time. Um, but I thought she was fine. She, yeah, I feel like, um, I feel like their love story in the beginning was unnecessary. And I, I, I think that's how I came out of it where he should have just ran into her or I'm trying to, cause they were trying to run away. She escaped yeah. or he escapes, leaves her behind. She gets captured they come back and you find out that she's now working for the bad guys and he's like still yeah. trying to save her, which is an interesting, an interesting thing. I just feel like it's too convenient to the plot. Oh, it was super convenient. You know what I mean? Like had she had just been his old friend and then the, he like trusts her because of that. You know, or like not have her on screen originally or not have her be the one he's going back for. Like there's just like this weird, like I get what they were doing and the betrayal and like all that stuff, but it it was like, it just didn't work to use that as the same character. Yeah. You know, like, I don't know. I feel like it had him have a love interest And then run into her being someone else who was willing to help him get back to her, his love interest, but find out that she was dead the whole time or something like that. Something, you know what I mean? Like, 
I don't know, it would have felt a little more believable. Yeah. But I, I think her change was interesting. I just don't think they did it very well, you know? I thought, yeah. I mean, it wasn't super compelling, but I, I didn't have any problems with it. Yeah. But, I don't know. I, I didn't like Solo. I thought it was a big waste of time. I, I'm glad they're changing that up. Like, from... Yeah, but you know what? I don't. I, w- I won't trust them as long as they continue to push forward with this side trilogy from Ryan Johnson. I thought that got canceled. It did? I haven't heard nothing about that. Maybe it did, but... I'm pretty sure it did, but I, I don't know for sure. The, I really, really hope so. Well, The Last Jedi is not very good. Exactly. So let's give that guy three more movies. Yeah. Um, Solo is not very good. Uh, the Force Awakens... Like, I still think... I don't know. I, the Force Awakens and The Last Jedi, I do think, was intentional in the way they did it. I think The, uh-huh. the Force Awakens was all callbacks, all nostalgia... And then The Last Jedi was none of that. That way people could freak out on both ends. So then they could be like, well, we did that your way. You didn't like it. We did this your way. You didn't like it. So now we're just going to do what we want to do. I think Yeah. I think that was part of the equation of them just kind of clearing the table and being like, well, now we can do what we want because we've gone to both extremes and no one was happy. And there's no... No one has any expectations for the next movie. No. You know what I'm saying? And I don't think, I I don't know if I'm giving them too much credit for that because maybe they're just making bad movies because that could very well be JJ Abrams loves mystery, right? He did that whole Ted talk about the mystery box and how you put a mystery out there and people get intrigued and get invested, but then never reveal it. You know, like he doesn't, the mystery is interesting when you have a compelling or like an interesting uh, resolution. He doesn't have those. He just likes yeah. throwing out mystery, which isn't hard to do. You just don't give information and you have a mystery. And so it's just like, okay, that's bad. And then Ryan Johnson comes in and he's like, oh, let's subvert all expectations. And it's like, oh, no, that's bad. Like, yeah, you're not you feel like you're being interesting because you've misled people, but you're just lying. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not, and I'm not saying that he's lying in the sense of that. What am I trying to say? So subversion and dishonesty are not the same thing. And I just feel like he, he took the mystery that JJ set up where JJ was like, Oh, this is important. And then Ryan Johnson's like, just kidding. It's not, it doesn't matter. It's not, you know what I'm saying? Like that's, that's the, I don't know. That's I wonder, how do you think JJ feels about that? I, I would imagine it's annoying, but I, I don't know how. Especially at all. now that he's back to do the next movie. Yeah, it's like dude, It'll I be... could have like I could have wrapped this whole thing up. Yeah, it's I could have the I whole know, yeah I, I, the whole thing is weird. Um, like I I see what Ryan Johnson was going for, but he just again it was like an interesting idea with just a terrible execution. You know, yeah. like they, I don't know, man, it's weird. But again, I don't really care about Star Wars. I don't care about the original trilogy. Those have a bunch of issues. The prequels have a bunch of issues. It's all big mess. Like none of it is that great. I get why people loved it when it first came out, but I don't understand why people love it today. I don't understand why people are so obsessed with it. The story is very generic. It's like the one of the most basic hero stories. Yeah. When people are like a, like crazy about it and it's so unreasonable to me. I don't know. Yeah, uh I don't I don't really get it either. It's like a, they can be fun, but like they're not they don't they're not worthy of the the massive hype and everything behind yeah. them. Yeah, and it, again, people people can love whatever they want, right? Like, it doesn't matter to me if people love Star Wars. I just don't understand why they do it. You know what I mean? Like, I don't see what's so great other well, than that, and it's just on popular. Top of, on top of that, it's it's so popular and it's so beloved that 
you're not you're not even allowed to not like it or not have seen it. Like yeah. it's sacrilege. Like yeah. that's impossible. How can you not love these movies? Mm. Well, I don't have to love every movie. And I'm, I bet you won't like argue with me on these other movies. Why do I have to love Star Wars? Yeah, it's just another movie to me. Yeah, no, yeah, no. I think that's fair, but a lot of people don't, which is a good. No, thing. I know. It's. But. I wonder. <laughs> I wonder too, Jade, when they asked him to come back, and he's like, "Yes, I'm so excited to not be able to use Luke Skywalker, which I totally set up to do." Well, I, I, I think Luke has potential to come back. Oh, yeah, no, I'm sure he will in some capacity, obviously. E- yeah, either as a force ghost or they'll just retrofit that he didn't die, that he just, I don't know. Do that. that seems stupid. Um, I didn't, like, I, for me. I'm okay a, with him being a force ghost. A lot of people complain that they've ruined his character, that he's like this super, you know, superhero character and he, he shouldn't have any weaknesses. I love the idea of him being, you know, almost an antagonist him being like this you know grumpy old man who yeah but I, selfish yeah i hated all the moments of levity that they interjected into it with all the um like those fish people and then him drinking the green milk and all that stuff yeah. it was like Jeez. they couldn't decide on a tone it was like oh we want to do this really dark yeah. and like you know like they didn't res- that's what they didn't respect is that like oh we're gonna we're going to really make this character dark and upset and broken. But like, look at these fish. They're so cute, you know? And it's just like, it's just, there's a couple good ideas, but just incompetent filmmaking. We need another Jar Jar Binks for the kids. Yeah. I don't know. Star Wars is bad. I'm not, they're just ruining it. Like they're, and not, I don't know. I I hate agreeing with people who like their reasoning is separate than mine. Do you know what I'm saying? Like the, there's like this weird men's right movement about this stuff. And I'm like, I don't hate you have the, you agree with them, but not for the same reasons. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I know. Like the conclusion is the same, but the path to get there is so different. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I don't want to come across that I'm as that guy. Yeah. But, but you are. Yeah. I'm, just outed yourself. No more women. Let's get back to Shakespeare days where men dressed up as the women. I'm sick. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm down with that. I'm sick of this representation in movies. Um, you know, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't really have anything else to say about solo or star Wars in general. I, I was going to finish with like, for episode nine i'm mm-hmm. for sure gonna see it i'll probably go yeah. see it in theater and and not because i look forward to it or anything just because it's you know you, you've got a lot of time invested in it and you want to see how it ends yeah. that's fine yeah but th- as far as any other movies like sides trilogies and whatnot like i don't i can't guarantee i'm ever gonna see those mm-hmm. i'm so done with it yeah well that unless it's part of the main storyline i'm i'm done i'm i'm, I'm over them Nine is kind of the last chance I think I'll give it. Because I, I went in. Oh, yeah. Well, to be honest, even if nine is really good, mm. the the, pro- the prospect of three, you know, other movies it just in the universe still is not appealing to me. I don't know. Like, if, if it seems like they make nine and they address a lot of the issues that I had with the other ones and, like, make those make sense, like, like yeah. that they actually had a plan and a reasoning behind the things they did and not just like, Oh, this would be interesting if we do that. Like if they, they can tie everything together. It's like, okay, well maybe I was just being unfair. Maybe I wasn't, you know, like I, I was judging it without the full picture and that, that can happen. Right. Like I think infinity war is not that great, but I also think that once the next one comes out, infinity war is going to be way better because now you see the whole picture. Yeah. Cause now you have the whole story. Right, like I think yeah. the Russo brothers are great, but I don't. In the as its own movie, it's like, oh no, they they kind of failed for me. But I know if you could watch the next one right away, it'd be so much better. Um, and so saying that with Star Wars, it's like maybe nine will tie it together and make it make sense and make everything seem worth the investment. But if they drop the ball again, 
It's just like, well, I'm done. I don't care. I haven't enjoyed. Yeah. I didn't enjoy Last Jedi. I didn't enjoy Solo. Uh, I like Rogue One, but it's still not like a great movie. I don't think it's a yeah. fantastic. I didn't really like The Force Awakens. And so it's just like, why am I going to keep doing this? Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm with you. Um, I, outside of that, like, I, I would be on board for the, for the Obi-Wan movie. Um, Maybe. I, like, I, that's it. Yeah, I can't really. I don't really. I think he's I I, only because I would I would say that Obi Wan's probably my favorite character in the Star Wars universe. Yeah, but from 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 start to finish. The pro okay. The problem. The problem with Obi Wan Mm -hmm. is he's so like, for as much as Solo didn't have any room to do anything, like oh, there's even less. I'm sure there's even less with uh, Obi Wan. You know what I mean? But I don't need I don't need to learn things. Don't make it an origin story and don't make it like that. Just make it a filler story, you know, of things that happened while we haven't seen them in a long time. But that could just be good Obi Wan stories that, that don't have to explain why he's like this or like that. But his story is he killed Anakin and then went into hiding until he helped Luke. And so what they're right. going to have to do is Darth Maul is going to come back. Then a group of people are going to show up and be like, Obi-Wan, we need your help. And he'd be like, ah, I'm out of this game. I'm, you know, I've, I've used my powers in the wrong way or whatever. Like I'm not, I'm not, I'm not good enough to do this. You need to get someone else. And they're going to be like, no, seriously, we need your help. And he's like, all right, I guess I can help you. Then he's going to go win. And then he's going to go right back into hiding. Like there's no, there's nothing that's like, interesting about any of that mm. you know what i'm saying no i do I'm, tr- I'm trying to in my head i'm trying to picture how they could do something like that and not have it be dumb it, i don't think you can i think he's stuck like his arc of he killed his best friend or he thought he killed his best friend and he went into hiding protect luke like that's it that's at the beginning of New Hope, <clears throat> does he know that Anakin is Darth Vader? Yeah. Okay, I wasn't sure. Uh, okay. well, I'm. I think that's the lore, at least, or that's the how you're supposed to take it. I don't know. I don't know if when they made a New Hope that they knew Darth Vader was Anakin, though. Right. Like there's a lot of things that they changed kind of on the fly with those. Like there's this, I don't know, like definitely Leia and Luke were not always siblings. Oh, you think so? Like oh, even yeah, for sure. after like they've started new hope. Yeah. No, going into empire. I don't think they realized that they were siblings. I think he was supposed to have a separate, uh, there's going to be another character and they are like, yeah, let's just make it Leia. Cause they have them kiss an empire right i don't think you would do that if you knew that they were siblings twins let alone yeah maybe is that is that like your opinion or is that like a a known kind of well-known thing um it's it's a well-known opinion i think so it's not just you it's not like it's not like confirmed right that, that it's that way but everyone's like, yeah, no, this is a, definitely isn't. Wasn't always the intention. I, I would love for George Lucas to come out and be like, yeah, no, I knew they were brother and sister when I wrote that. <laughs> so yeah. what? Star Wars. Yeah. I don't know. But yeah, so that's Solo. That's Clue. Clue's way better than Solo. Way better. Um, Clue's probably the best movie I've seen in a while. Yeah, that's fair. It's really good. And it holds up. You know, 